Hey guys, it's JQ Crafty. Welcome to day 13 of our lovely collab for Scrap Timber 2021 and 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Today we had the lovely sketch that you just saw and the prompt today is stars, which the sketch is perfect for stars. I'm going to have a little play with a straw, a already gessoed piece of paper, which apparently got wet from underneath, which is really odd. Um, these two photos of my son going down a slide with his hands up. These awesome LA Studio. This is from their class from this year. It was exclusive for the class, so I'm sorry if you can't get this. But um, yes, I love it. <laughs> and there's some good star stamps in there that I'm going to use, as well as a bunch of shimmers. My goal is, I recently got the color kit for September and August. So my goal is to use um, Velveteen Green ocean water, ahoy matey, um, rose gold red, which is I've had for a long time, and then um, fire and spice, which is from the color kit from um, August. And then also I might use some night moves, the black. We'll see. I might do some splatters of black. I haven't decided yet. I also um, I might use the stamp set to stamp my title. I haven't decided that yet either, but I'm definitely going to use these stars. I thought I got the big star one that they have, but I didn't. So I'm going to be hopefully getting that one of these days and then their big heart one too, because I really like that. But we're going to have a play with um, those. So this will be the color palette, which I thought was really pretty. Um, so yeah, let's, let's have a play and we'll get started. So this was super fun and it turned out super cool. <laughs> So first what I'm doing is, and I'm okay with some of the overspray that like fine mist that happens. Um, you know, I really don't know how to get rid of that. I don't know if you have to spray closer, but I'm like, I feel like I'm so close to the paper. Anywho, so I started with a white matey, just sprayed a little puddle and then blew it with a straw. And then if I needed to add more and then I'm turning the paper um, so that I can get the angles outward. And then I did um, the ocean is it ocean water, ocean something? And whatever I just said, and then the velveteen, and then the um, fire and spice, and then the rose gold red. Same thing every time, blotting up a lot of the puddles because I don't want it to get too saturated. It is gessoed, but um, you know, only only one layer of gesso, so I don't want it to sit there. The only the only thing I messed up on, I feel like, is that my blue my dark blue and my my first few ones got too thick um up top but I was able to cover up a lot of it and so I'm not too worried about the center because that's where the photos are going to go but I love the way this turned out and then I did sprinkle around night moves and then blotted up some of the bigger spots and that's the nice thing about gesso sometimes it's like it's like erasing it if I didn't want it there I could keep blotting it and pretty much disappear but it all kind of fades in together um and then that stamp set I'm glad I had it and use those stars that were in that because those stars end up being like the perfect size. So while that's drying, I figured I would um, start working on my photos and um, figure out if I do want to stamp the title. And um, also I had an idea with the stars, so I wanted to try it out. So I'm going ahead and I'm taking the word treasure and happiness and using my archival in black and using this lovely little journals for life um, stamp pad that they um, that I got from them on their Labor Day clearance weekend. Uh, and stamping treasure and then happiness just in black because I did do some black splatters. And as of right now, I don't plan on it, but I do end up putting a black border around the whole layout. So I stamp those out and then now I want to try out what I was thinking of doing with the stars. So I'm going to take those shimmers and kind of ruffle them into the stars or the stars into it and stamp it. And it's not coming out the way I want to. And then I even tried, I cut out a lot of me trying this multiple, multiple times. I even tried taking a paintbrush and painting on the stamps. It just wasn't giving me the look that I wanted. Maybe if I would have tried it on the layout, but what I ended up doing works out just as well and I think turns out the exact way I want to. So I trimmed on my photos so they're the same size and I'm grabbing some papers out of my How to Kill a Kit with Style which is just a mishmash of some leftovers from the last few months and I'm going to mat my photos on these three papers. I'm not going to make you watch um, me mat them. That's all I'm doing. I do the blue first which is a Vicky Booten paper. Um, this white paper that has the like turquoise and blue pattern on it. I believe that is a Jen Hatfield maybe? No... 
I don't remember now. See, I'm horrible. And then uh, black and white polka dot, which is from um, one of the simple stories, the spring collection. So I mat those up, get them all set, and I get my paper now that is dry, and I start ripping around the entire edge because I want to have a black border, and I didn't really want to trim it. It looked messy already, so I thought, why not keep it messy? So I just decided to tear. I put tons of adhesive on because it did quite warp quite a bit in the center from all that pooling um, just from when I was spraying it, so I wanted to get some really good adhesive. I put some of the liquid glue on there as well. And it just, it just, I love it, especially with the photos when they cover up the giant blob. Oh, I love the way it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and glue um, some foam on the back of them and then trimming out my title. I'm going to make the treasure a banner and then I'm going to fussy cut out happiness and kind of glue them together, layering the happiness slightly over treasure. And that's just going to really stick out. Um, and I like the way that ends up looking. I'm going to layer it on top of that left photo so it kind of goes on to the right photo. I have to look up the date for this, I believe, yet. Um, but yeah, it turns out pretty darn good. So I'm fussy cutting the word happiness out right at the moment. Uh, but while I'm doing that, and hopefully I will... Well, I think I'm going to cut two things um, here in a second and glue all that down. Oh yeah, pop on foam. Okay, first what I'll show you is what I'm gonna do is I decided on getting some Distress Oxides out and I tried to match the colors as best I can. And then after I stamp them, I dip my paintbrush in water to give them more of a not so crisp look. And I love it. The blue ones, um, you can see it right there, it's dripping. Ah, it started dripping a little bit, so that one kind of fades out. Um, but I love how they almost fade into the splashing. And it's almost like it's a big splash that goes out and there's stars that are also exploding from the center. So I do chip sapphire. Um, I play around with different colors trying to match the, the velveteen green. But I end up doing chip sapphire um, evergreen bow to match the ocean color. And then I end up doing... Do I end up doing pine needles? No, lucky clover actually matches it the best. It's still a little more green. I couldn't quite get a green that I greenish teal that I wanted. And then I end up using aged mahogany to match the rose gold red. And then um, crackling campfire to match the fire and spice. It's a little more orangey, but I like the way it looks. It ends up looking really good. And I do the same thing. I just stamp a couple of big ones, small ones, just in amongst the sprays out. And yeah, and then I take the, and then I blot up any pooling. And I really like the way it turns, the way it looks. The look I, I get from it is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, make sure, uh, you follow along everybody who, or go check out everybody who made layouts today. The Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts have been doing September for a couple of years now. I believe Laura Alberts maybe started or maybe Scrappy Sisters, I don't remember. And then Chrissy joined with them, Chrissy's Beautiful Life, doing the 30 Days of Sketches. So we are on day 13, um, getting there, getting almost, almost halfway there, which is crazy. Uh, Yeah. So make sure you check out everybody who is playing along below and um, subscribe if you haven't already. So you keep getting and make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications when I post a video. But I will be doing every one this month. So far, I'm, so far, so good. I get a little bit ahead and then I have to play some catch up, but I don't get super, super behind. So it's working out so far. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get a little farther ahead so I don't feel rushed. But I'm loving the sketches with the prompts. It's a lot, of, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, so now that I'm all done with that, I can start adhering everything down. Uh, these double-sided foam adhesive that I have right now is really, really sticky. So I don't have to worry about um, putting some, any liquid glue behind it either. But I want to, I like the round aspect in the sketch. So I try and look for something that will work. I find a navy blue doily from Shadney's shop on Etsy. I'll have her link down below as well. Um, I find that and then I go through my whatever else I have in this how to kill a kit which like I said is just a bunch of mishmash I can have I'll have um, a little card here right up right up in the corner uh, to link you back to what I kind of described my how to kill a kit style this month as I find a little tag that almost looks like the sun but it's white to tuck in underneath there as well and I'm liking the round things that I've got going on so then I'm gonna find um, 
it looks like a, I think it's like a coin or a button that's in like the turquoisey color. And then I have uh, dots from Shimmers that came in the color kit that I'm gonna tuck on the left side of Treasure and then another chipboard thing from an old collection that I did for uh, Product Focus Friday. And then a chess piece that's gonna go up top um, or checkers, it's a checkers piece, sorry. Just so I have some round things poking out. Some of it might look a little odd, but I didn't I didn't mind not finishing anything else after I put those things down because of all the color spray. It's just to add something, a little texture to round out the harsh corners um, and the gaps. And yeah, I really, I really love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure, you, like I said, check out everybody who played uh, along with this one today down below. And um, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Bye.